And I have a son who has a mental illness. We have a daughter who has mental illness. I'm a mental health consumer. Uh, my diagnosis is get so I effective. I teach children and teens at a mental health hospital. And I have a son who has schizophrenia. I was so I'm uh, very diagnosed in 1987 with schizophrenia. And I, uh, was hospitalized six different times, lived in three different group homes. I have a brother who has schizophrenia, and, and uh, I know that he's benefited from research during, uh, during his long struggle with the illness. I have a 14-year-old son with bipolar illness, and it is biologically based. In 2003, staff from the Harvard Brain Bank traveled to Minneapolis, Minnesota to meet the people at the NAMI National Convention. Dozens of people shared their feelings and experiences regarding post-mortem research and donation. What we need to know in the mental disorders is where's the lesion? Now we know something about the neurochemical basis. We're starting to learn something about the genetic basis. But if we want to catch up with the kind of work that's going on in Alzheimer's disease and other parts of medicine, what we really need to know is where to look. And the post-mortem approach, having access to brains of people who have had mental disorders, is the only way we know of to be able to identify where the lesion is, what it looks like, what part of the brain's involved, and also what could happen with treatment. Well, one of the important things about doing research is to have real material to work with and to be able to compare the uh, type of differences that occur within the brain of various people. I think it's a wonderful opportunity to be of service to others. I think it's very important that we find out as much as we can about how the brain works, the neuronal connections, and everything that we can possibly learn so that we can go on and possibly prevent mental illnesses in the future. This uh, NAMI family to family course, one, um, uh, one session is on the brain. And uh, it's very good, but I was always looking for more information. I just think that we have to forward the education. We have to forward the study and the research. Well, I probably first heard about it from Jill Taylor, actually. Jill was on the NAMI board a number of years back. Um, I can't remember how many, but, but Jill was just a crusader for the brain bank and uh, made sure that everybody she knew uh, knew about the bank and, and uh, knew about the importance of donating your brain for purposes of research. The frontal region of the brain is for your ability to plan. It's the appropriateness of behavior. So we want to understand what's actually going on in that frontal region for the severe mental illnesses, and then what can we do to actually improve the situation, perhaps with the medication. Well, all you have to do is call the brain bank, and they'll walk you through the whole process. And they did, and it went just very smoothly. Uh, I already signed up some years ago, and uh, so I thought it was a good idea to try to get some more people to sign up. Well, we have already um, donated brain tissue from my mother-in-law, who died uh, as a result of Alzheimer's. And I know that it takes some uh, brains to study, to find out what's going on or not going on. And uh, so I thought, well, I'll give mine if they want it. And yeah, in all likelihood, I'll sign up. I, I guess uh, I would have to discuss it with my uh, family and, and, uh, and, and make them understand what the needs are. To help, you know, whether you have a healthy brain or you have a medicated, a medicated brain, you know, your help is needed, your time is needed, whatever way you can, you know, don't be afraid to help out. And the only way we're going to get anywhere in this field is if we have better knowledge. And better knowledge comes in a lot of ways. It comes through clinical trials, through the use of post-mortem studies, and I would say the brain bank is one very important cornerstone uh, for us to continue to improve the lives of people with psychiatric illness. It's participation in something that's bigger than yourself that may yield fruit years down the road uh, that you can know that you're making a difference so that other people don't have to suffer as you have. This is a step along the way in fulfilling that promise that one day we'll know the mysteries of serious mental illness. Well, but this is, no, I think this is, I'm going to, I'm going to, actually, will there be an opportunity for me to sign up here at the convention? I'll do it. Okay. <laughs>